we have called this press conference <coughs> in regard to notification issued by Government of Nagaland Municipal Affairs Department in regard to formation of advisory council members of municipals and town councils. The notification is completely in violation of the Municipal Act. It is inconsistent with the basic structures that have been laid down. The principles of the Municipal Act itself is violated. Therefore, we have, I have called my Nagaland Pradesh Congress Committee legal uh, advisors and uh, legal sub chairman and members and we have gone through the notification issued by uh, principal secretary to the go governor uh, government of Nagaland Mr. Hai Mato Zimomi Since the notification is in violation and inconsistent with the Act, and also that the matter is pending in the Supreme Court, we don't understand in what manner state is able to override the Supreme Court when the matter is sub judice. Therefore, we have decided to protest and to reject the notification and government of Nagaland for a petty small fund they wanted fund but they cannot be they cannot turn municipal as a dictatorship or detect people nomination is not provided in the Municipal Act, unless there is election. Only when there is election, one third of its members, one third of the elected members can be nominated by the government. But without having election, they cannot nominate one third of the members. And the issue that is pending in the Supreme Court is about women reservation. Therefore, Nagaland State and Nagaland Pradesh Congress Committee has decided to object and raise a voice in the court, I mean, uh, uh, to the people and to the district, to all the Call the district in the state. I think town councils are more than that. No? Yes. So we should also raise the I mean, subject to the town ADCs wherever there is town councils. I think. So this is our stand. My, my working president Freddy will explain about Supreme Court and other cases which are pending. A matter, a writ application matter was uh, against the judgment of, of order of that. The matter was uh, taken to Supreme Court by the Naga Mothers Association. And in the meantime, they have withdrawn the case from the Supreme Court, but uh, People's Union Civil Liberties, they have uh, come forward and Included themselves as one of the petitioner, and they are uh, taking up the case. Though the mothers has withdrawn, so this uh, people's union civil liberties has become one of the petitioner in this case, and the matter is uh, still pending in the Supreme Court. And when the matters are still pending in the Supreme Court, as to how the state government has come out for formation of the Municipal Council through uh, Advisory Council by 
nominating persons. This is something we have to see that whether they are uh, doing things against the court or with the knowledge of the court, that matter we have to bring to the notice of the Supreme Court. That is our stand at the moment. They might be doing. We are yet to know that. Okay. So what exactly but is the, the Congress matter is going pending to do? in the Supreme Court? Yeah. So what Congress is exactly going to do now? Just protesting or submit any petitions in the court or representations? To we the will court? submit petitions to all the deputy commissioners and wherever town councils are there to additional deputy commissioners objecting the formation of advisory councils through nominations. Councils are supposed to be a representative council of the people, not the true nominations. If they want to amend any act, they can amend. But they have not been able to even bring any amendment in the house for this long. And now they have brought the idea of nomination because that is easier for them to manipulate and also to detect the people. much is the point we want to you if you have any question you can ask. I've received you form a committee. I think you are aware of that. It has formed a committee to look into the municipal act altogether and submit its recommendation to the government. But still it is in the process that is why the government is going for nomination as said by the government for stop gap arrangement. But the, the Congress is totally against that also that means no, looking into the act, we have no objection. Government has the authority to amend, to improve. But without doing that, how can they just uh, nominate and run the affairs of people? When you are to run the affairs of people, it has to be represented by the elected people. And only one third of that elected elected people, government and the provision says only one third of people can be elected, members can be uh, nominated. So without having the basic election, how can they start nominating? So one third, one third of the elected members. One third of the elected members, mm -hmm. government can nominate mm -hmm. knowledgeable people. Knowledgeable means those who are having expert in some field to aid the elected members. That means without election means it is illegal. Without election, this nomination does not arise. Just yesterday, the three municipal councils, Koyama, Dimapur, Mokchun, had, uh, uh, had a joint meeting and they took up two-point resolution. One is rejecting the uh, rejecting the notification of the government and the other was urging the state government to conduct the election at the earliest without any biases. So Congress, does the Congress stand uh, with the three municipal council decision? We have the same objective. We stand with them. Advisory, advisory councils, what will be the course of action from the Congress? It will be a content of Supreme Court. Yeah, so do, 
you have said you uh, submit petition to the DCs and ADCs, but whether you are approaching the court also in this matter? Since the matter is solely this in the Supreme Court, I don't know whether the High Court will say anything. You, you have the Supreme Court, doesn't it? Any, any court? Uh, no, judge, judgment as such is not there. Judgment as such is not, but there is special uh, leave petition number 26794 oblique 2012. Appeal number, civil appeal number 3607 oblique 2016. Filed by Nada Mothers Association. But as uh, my vice working president has explained, <coughs> as matter stands still there. So when they will do this petition, so the case still <coughs> remains? No, that's, uh, that's what I've uh, already explained. Yeah. Naga Mothers has uh, withdrawn the yes. case. Yes. But at the same time, the People's Union Civil Liberties has come forward to be the petitioner by including themselves as petitioner, and they are pursuing this matter okay. in the Supreme Court. Okay. So when did they refile the petition there? No, this, you, civil, the, civil? the same case, the same case they have included themselves okay, as okay. the petitioner okay, okay. in the case where the Nagamadars has been drawn. Okay. Now the petitioners uh, are the People's Union for Civil Liberties. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Instead of Naga Mothers Association, now it is People's Union for Civil Liberties. These are the people who have filed the case. Where is, it, where is this based? The Supreme Court. No, I mean, this People's Union. Union for Normally, the, they're based in uh, Delhi, but Delhi they represent India. all for the people of India. Oh, okay. What exactly NMA was compelled to withdraw? The re reason is done by them. <laughs> this is regarding 33% reservation. Hmm. I don't know for what reason Naga Mothers Association have withdrawn. But then the other society has come forward to sustain the petition. Uh, sir, apart from the ULB, uh, we have seen so many developments going on in the peace talks. And now there has been a split in the uh, NSC and R. What, how does Congress see all these developments? Will it have any major impact on the, in the ongoing talks? I think um, talks are over for Nagaland as far as uh, Modi and interlocutor are concerned. So it is only to be implemented and we hope after Manipur election, this will be implemented. So, besides that, uh, what is the opinion of the Congress on the district demand by Cheminyu? They are going very intensive agitations they are conducting. Even tomorrow, they are going to have a on. You see, I have nothing to comment much on that. But unless powers are decentralized, if everything is centralized at Kohima, then people think by creating administration posts, uh, they will get some powers, access to power. But uh, all the district, including the oldest district like Tansan Mokokchun, no fun percolates down there. So they have no power at all. All the head of departments in the uh, districts, they, they don't function anymore. So, <clears throat> I don't know. Even if powers are decentralized to EAC, they will be able to function. Even if powers are decentralized to SDO, soil, SDO agree, SDO any, anything, or any officer is given authority, they will be able to function. But powers are not decentralized anymore. All centralized. Funds are centralized. Therefore, government is, 
uh, I think, uh, in a complete mess. Once this centralization of power is done, I don't think uh, this type of structures are actually required. Uh, too much of administration structures, there is that. But uh, nobody is functioning. Everybody is drawing uh, their salary through ATM. And the government has again started thinking of EP. Mm. So nobody will need to work. You don't need to mark presence in your office anymore. Your finance minister, you will do it better. <laughs> I don't know, only salary, they are even unable to pay salary. This UPA, United uh, Democratic Alliance, opposition less. So soon after they formed, there was a complete, even you have seen the split in the NSN the reformation. Exactly that is opposite now, because they said they will work for unity. And this NPCC is also, they keep asking to the government that you come together. So the moment they came together, they start splitting. What is exactly you feel? They don't need to say anything. We are all for solution. Only the state assembly need to say, okay, whatever has been decided, please implement. That itself would have resolved everything. But instead of endorsing the decision which the negotiation which they have taken place they're asking for negotiation to continue what more to negotiate after having concluded what more to negotiate they should give us opinion their agenda should be laid down before the people what more to negotiate so as per the NMPG, talks have concluded, and from the government of India said talks have concluded like formal talks. However, the NSA and IM are still standing firm on that talks. It's you still see, going on. So I have asked this government of India. When framework agreement was signed, what was the inner mind of government of India to give to NSA and IM? They said to organize the hill, 12 hill district into one autonomous council under six shepherds. Maybe territorial council or nomenclature, something like that. But hill district in Manipur are not united. That is how they could not do it. Then they started talking about flag and constitution without mentioning sovereignty. Is for, do we need to register our name in the name, I mean, uh, in the uh, Society's Registration Act, with the flag and constitution, if sovereignty is not there? I don't think that is so. so it, it has become a meaningless. What is the inner mind of their demand? They should spell out. I should spell out clearly, I don't know whether NSN IM has after listing 30 points, whether they have given any concrete agenda to Kormand of India demanding any solution. And for the last 24 or 5 years now, they have been talking and we have not seen any concrete document, concrete agenda, accepting that framework agreement. And that framework agreement doesn't spell anything concrete. Government of India is, uh, is uh, reportedly working out to give some areas to accommodate NSNIM. Have you heard about it? We have heard something they are talking about carving out in Ntanki Forest. Now the MLAs are saying, not Ntanki Forest, Barak Valley. But I don't know because Ntanki Forest is national reserve forest. Therefore, they may be trying to say Barak Valley. But I think uh, these are all unacceptable to our people and it will create more problems.